Hello, my name is Luke and I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to improve your life dramatically as a music artist. I'm showing you tips and tricks and things that you can do just to make your songs better. And I don't want to waste any time today. I have such a good one for you today. This is something that I just do on every single song without fail and you should be doing it too. It is a way to get your songs to sound rich, thick, full and to punch and get them as loud as possible so that they compete with these top level A-list tracks, right? And it's generally quite simple, so I'm gonna show you. So think about your transient heavy instruments. In this case, this would be your drums. Maybe you've got a guitar that you're strumming it. Maybe you're doing a funky pattern or you're plucking something. Maybe your piano, you're playing something really hard. Maybe it's your voice, you're singing very harshly. Think about anything with a lot of transient energy. So where the audio waveform is peaking right and a prime example is something like this if i zoom in on my drums here you can see all this transient energy on this snare right here it kind of has this loud pop here at the top same with the hats there and the same is true for the kick as well you won't be able to see that because it's midi but what i will do is actually grab a um an oscilloscope that's what it's called i always forget the name of them oscilloscope and actually just show you here uh, what's going on so here is your transient heavy instruments if i take this kick here for example take a look at how this looks in the waveform you see how we have that big high transient energy right there and again it's the same with the snare here right lots of energy coming through if i play the drums in their entirety here you'll hear and see even that they have tons of high transient energy going on here but i don't want to get rid of the punch because to me the transient energy is what gives it the punch so there is a solution it is very very simple when it comes to something like drums there are two main things to think about saturation or overdrive and then clipping so if i show you here what's going on the first plugin that I have on my entire drum bus, because I tend to uh, process my drum bus, like I process all the instruments together, and then I move down to the individual bits and pieces. The first thing that I've got here is Noxford Inflator. This plugin is not essential. Uh, this is uh, basically brings up the dynamic range of the drum kit. It's a great plugin, but again, not essential. Can be expensive. Wait till it's on offer. If you do want to get it. But if I turn that on, you can see... It generally just makes the tail ends of my sounds just a little bit louder, but again, it's very minimal difference as you can see, so it's not essential. The big thing is my saturation here, and I'm using tape from Baby Audio here, and you can see I've got the drive up relatively high at six decibels, and then I've got the mix at 65%. Look at what this is gonna to do to the waveform. Right, so it's only subtle, but let me take it off. Can you see how just here at the top, we're peaking at this minus six, just here. When I turn it on, can you see now, we're just a little under. Now, I could be more extreme with the overdrive, but already we're taking a little bit of that transient top end off, but without losing the punch. If you listen to how it all sounds, it sounds great, obviously, like it's not missing that transient punch. The final step is to then add a clipper. Now this is doing some really, really good stuff here. Now if I turn this on, I mean you can even see there the red lines on this graph here, but you'll see that it completely cuts off the top here. Let me play it. Look at that. You see now we are considerably lower than minus six. So we're saving ourselves quite a bit of headroom there, so there is more space for us to turn the track up. But again, you can hear that it doesn't sound massively different. If I take away these two plugins, we still have all the energy. This is before. And then this is after. Can you see how, again, there just isn't really anything missing the transient punch is still there but we're just taking a bit off the tops now in this example i've done a subtle um sort of take off the top there it's only subtle i didn't want to go too crazy with it but there are some examples where i've gone really really heavy with it and you can get a lot of the top and still have it punch and crack through the speakers and that is 
basically it. So apply that sort of principle to any transient heavy instrument that you have. A bit of saturation or overdrive to kind of, um, I mean, it acts as a bit of natural compression anyway, so that will do a little bit of work for you. And then add a clipper. Now I'm using standard clip again. You have to play, pay for that one, but you could also use a limiter in your DAW. Uh, anything will work. Um, and I think there is actually a free clip um, called a Ven Clip or something. Let me just have a quick look for it. Let me find it. Yeah, literally, it's called a Free Clip to by Ven Audio, and this does the same thing. So you can get it there as well. Um, I recommend that. Give that a try when you're next processing some drums or anything transient heavy. Let me know how you get on. And uh, if you like this kind of video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.